Look, I always get asked the question, how do I become a top producing agent and create financial freedom? Early in my career, I went to an event with a guy, you might have heard of him, his name is Garrett White. He runs Wake Up Warrior, super amazing uh, business owner and, and, and trainer. And that was where I first heard the language financial freedom. I didn't know what it meant, but I learned that it's where your leverage residual income pays for your desired lifestyle. But instantly I thought the quickest way I was gonna become financially free is I was gonna go buy a bunch of real estate and I was gonna live off the leverage residual income, right? Like we've all been trained that. I actually realized that the way I was learning it would have taken me forever to actually do it. And, but I learned some shifts along the way because one of my friends now and trainer back then, he said, rich people take vacation for a season, average people go on vacation for a week. And I wanted to get to that point where I could take that time off, right? Where my business continually works for me. And so I realized that there was three major areas. One is what's called our business freedom two, which is called our financial freedom, and three, which is called our soul freedom. We're gonna focus on these two areas today with our business freedom and our financial freedom in this training. But what is business freedom? This is the idea where you go from business operator to business owner, where you work because you um, the, the business doesn't rely on you. Like for example, most realtors, if they step away for 90 days, the money's gonna stop. It will stop coming in. Whereas if I start stop for 90 days in my real estate business, the money keeps coming in every single day, whether I show up or not. Right now, I currently only work maybe 30 minutes a week in that particular business. So that creates business freedom. So that I can then go focus on other things. But like I said earlier in this training, that is I thought I had to go do this through real estate. But what I didn't realize is my greatest assets were two of them. It wasn't the real estate that I owned. It wasn't the investments that I owned, but it was actually me number one was the first massive investment I needed to invest in to get massive return of, of investments, right? Return on my investment. But then the other massive investment or asset that I needed to invest in was with actual more business assets. Business become worth something. Unfortunately for most realtors or real estate agents, they never create a sellable asset or something that pays them over and over again. If they don't show up 29 hours a day, eight days a week, they don't become free. So the first thing is you gotta learn how to become business free by becoming a business owner as opposed to business operator. And I want you to write this down. Business, great business operators, they make money but they become tired and exhausted. Great business owners, they become rich and free. Just remember that. But then the second, or there's actually eight rounds too to business, um, business freedom. The first is a clear leadership system. Even if you're a single agent, you have to have this leadership system in place. The standards that you hold yourself to, the things you're willing to tolerate or not tolerate. The second is you have to have a clear roadmap. Where the frick are you going? Where are you? You have to get honest with your business. What are your gaps? Where, what gap do you have to close in to get to where you're going to create that business freedom? The third is you gotta anticipate and innovate, especially right now. We don't always know where the market is going, but I can promise you this, it's always gonna get jacked up. Something's gonna come and shift things. I'll give you two examples in the last 14 years. 2007 to 2008, number one is we had a huge financial collapse, and that was when the subprime market went down, completely smashed the market. I had one of the top developers at the time, and I was young in business, so it didn't affect me a ton, but one of the top uh, developers here was at the time had about a 30 something million dollar net worth, went bankrupt, lost it all. And we all know several stories from that time when the market shifted and it was like, ah, where did it come from? Another time was though COVID. You remember COVID in 2020? That was something that we didn't anticipate fast enough. Most people didn't anticipate. And when you don't anticipate, you, you don't innovate. But if you look over the last two years, you've been forced to innovate. You're doing way more Zoom meetings you're doing way more sp speed of contract through digital, right? Like you're doing more virtual showings, like you had to innovate. So what I'm having you consider in these eight realms of business freedom is anticipate and innovate faster. But fourth and fifth, they kind of get overlooked. 
Uh, and what I mean by that is number four is the cell system, which you probably learn a simple four-step cell system, which is contacts, meaningful conversations, set appointments, and give presentations. That is a simple four-step cell system. But the reality is, is it never gets pulled out of the head and documented into a system where you can actually have someone come in and use your leadership system and your cell system to operate that. Okay. The fifth though, which is definitely overlooked is your marketing system because everyone thinks it's about paying for advertising on Facebook or Zillow or these different lead sources. That's advertising time, effort, energy, and money into people that don't know who you are. What I'm suggesting is dial in your marketing system first. Not that you don't need advertising, but marketing is time, effort, energy, and money to the people that do know who you are and expanding that network and having a clear system. And one of the things where you have to innovate today is you better be using social media on a much higher level. For those of you that have followed me for short time or long time, I got into this accidentally. You can go back to 2010 with my first YouTube video that I put up sideways. But what I realized with time is the principles of a marketing system don't change, just the vehicle changes on how you deliver the marketing. Marketing must be about adding value and educating and bringing people into your ecosystem. The sixth system that you have to dial in, which is never gets dialed in in real estate, is a financial and legal system, really having a cash flow management, tax-free wealth. And we'll go over a little bit more of that in a little bit. And then the seventh system is an OptiMax system. Once you've built these systems out, you have to optimize them and maximize them, get more juice out of them, get them performing better, not only becoming effective, but even more efficient, okay? And then the eighth is the raving fan system where you create these fans of human beings that love you and when they come to you, you charge them, you monetize them through referrals, through hiring them, put them in your downline, through taking investment deals with them, put them in your coaching or training program, but you monetize these people by creating raving fans. The raving fan starts with you first again, just like the leadership system. You've gotta be your number one raving fan because if you're not, then no one else will because you have to believe in yourself before someone else believes in you. You have to create this idea that it's not that I have to convince you to do business with me or to come to my next WGR Live in September or to my, join my mastermind or whatever. I have to be convinced that I'm convinced first and then you'll be convinced, right? So you've got to create that. For example, if you're meeting on a sale, your job is not to convince them to list with you. It's to convince them that you're fucking convinced that they should list with you. Are you convinced you're your number one raving fan? Moves out to your leadership, your organization, your sphere of influence, your past clients, your top 50 most important relationships. And then having a way to really build those relationships and add value to their lives. Make them feel like you appreciate them. The next real major step that rolls into this is when you build these systems, you have to bring people in to do it, which requires a really solid culture game, right? And the culture game is about your towards values, your away values. See, earlier in my career when I started hiring people, I had hired a guy that was making us a lot of money, but he didn't follow our values or our culture. In fact, he was snorting cocaine, he was using a lot of drugs, and I had actually allowed that in our company because I had set that bad example. Today, you'll never find that inside of our company because uh, an A-team player shows up. They ask questions. They say, what else can I do? They, they ask for feedback. They always go the extra mile. They engage. A C-team player that has drama and, and blame and, and they are lack authenticity and they have dishonesty. And, and, and so you have to identify what are you working towards and what are you moving away from? And when you can do that, that's in your culture rules and your towards and away uh, values. Which leads us to this point. You get that in place, this business asset becomes worth something, but it generates cash. You know, like, you know, the idea should be go to generate seven figures or more every single year. Ideally, like some of my clients doing seven figures in a month, what would your, would your life be like with that? And then you take and create financial freedom with the first by getting clear on your financial literacy. That's step one. You gotta learn and educate yourself. You have to take back the responsibility of money because the social scape which you've been taught in school and society is give someone else the responsibility like a financial planner. I want you to be the one in charge. The next is you gotta optimize your protection. This is typically through insurance, whether it's with your automobile insurance, your house insurance, your key man insurance in your business, but ultimately the idea of infinite banking which we teach with inside of having a whole life cash value policy because you can get infinite returns on it if you utilize it the right way. And then 
The third is cash flow management. The number one mistake I see with realtors not becoming financially free, top producers becoming financially free, is they don't manage their cash flow and really don't manage their expenses. You've got to learn to put money into your financial freedom account. Pay yourself first. Put money into your education account. Put money into your give account. Keep your operating expenses 50% or less. And then the fourth is you got to have your financial organization. This is where you really start to create assets and asset allocation. It's the beginning steps. This is having a what we call a corporate book, your articles of incorporation, your EIN numbers, so that when you go through your, your financial planning or your financial roadmap, you have easy access and organization of that and can build on it as you go. The fifth is your tax-free wealth plan. This is where most Americans and unfortunately most people in the, United, in the world, they pay too much to the government, right? And so you've got to pay less to the government legally by using tax-free wealth planning and incentives, creating a reduced bill that goes to the government and an increased control that you have inside of your business and following the incentives that the government has lined up for you. And then the, the sixth, which is all about having this financial structure, having this financial asset allocation, the real estate portfolio, the crypto portfolio, the stock portfolio, private equity portfolio, precious meadows uh, uh, portfolio. You want ideally 15 of these asset classes and it'll reduce your risk by about 80% and it'll increase your return dramatically. So finally you can have this dream spending and really you probably only need 15 to $20 million net worth to live an amazing life off of a half million dollars a year for the rest of your life. But if you're like me, you want more than that and so you can keep pushing and creating more. Why? Because you want to live a new standard in your reality. Now, when we look at this, we want to identify our return on investment. There's a single digit, a double digit, a triple digit, a quadruple digit, and then there's an infinite an infinite return on your investment. So, average people are going to play right in this area. This 5 to 15 this is your secure bucket. And really, I don't know if you've paid attention to what inflation is, but it was just announced 7.5%. So if you're only getting 5% return on your investment, you're actually losing money. You've got to be getting at least on a secure investment 15% return. So if you're investing in mutual funds today and getting an 8% return minus their fees, you're actually going backwards. If you've got a bunch of cash in the bank, you're actually going backwards. But what we really want, what we really want to accelerate is in this range right here with our 150%, 1500% and infinite returns. How can I get those? Well, number one way you can get those, especially in this area right here, this is called asymmetrical investing. That's where if I invest $5, I'm going to make at least five times that. So let me, let me actually rephrase this example. If I invest a dollar, I'm going to get at least $5 back. If I'm going to invest $100, I'm going to get at least $500. And if I am wrong, which is unlikely that I'm wrong, but if I am, I only lose a dollar. I only lose $100. So whatever it is in the investment, I have to be willing to lose that and that amount will not kill me. So here's a simple strategy one of my friends taught me named Chris Krohn is he said, go find 15 stocks, take $10,000 and split those 15 stocks equally for the $10,000 and look at the ones that might be most likely to 5, 10x, or even 20x, some of them 100x. And you'll be wrong 75% of the time, you'll be right 25% of the time. You could do that with cryptos as well. But on the ones that you're wrong, that money's not gonna kill you. The ones that you're right, you're gonna make big money, right? And that's how you get the triple digit and the quadruple digit returns. But ultimately, we wanna look at infinite returns. And this is the whole idea of infinite banking. So let me give you one example. Let's say I'm going to go buy a real estate fourplex. It's a million bucks. Um, and the bank will lend me $700,000. That means I need to put 300 grand into it. But I go to some investors that I know that they have $300,000 and they're down to get a 10% or a 15% return on their investment. So I take that money and I put it into the deal. Now I bought this million dollar asset with no money into the deal. The bank's charging me 5%. These guys are charging me 12%, whatever it is. And I'm making a return on my investment every single year. Let's say that return is 35, 50%, whatever it is, minus the 12 and 5%, I'm up 20 to 40% return on my investment. Now this is just a simple example, but I had no money into the deal. 
This is how the return becomes infinite. And then I can take that money and I can reinvest it in my asset allocation. So look, there are people that always come to me and they say, hey Colton, how can I mentor with you? I wanna give you some options. One of my favorites is get to my event in September. It's WGR Live. General admission tickets are now on sale. Annex the VIP. We'll have some other ticket options available in time. But go get a general admission ticket. Get your butt out. Fly to Provo, Utah for the event. Or if you can't become in person, you can attend virtually. It's three days focused on business freedom, financial freedom, and your soul freedom. So you can go get your ticket at www.wgrlive.com www.wgrlive.com, get your general admission ticket and get inside of that. If you want to look at some strategy sessions or other systems or ways we can help you, reach out. See you later. All right. Talk to you soon.